apparently for Tamika Mallory, apparently for Linda Sarsour, it's good enough for them, but not good enough for the people marching with them, but not good enough for the ones that are protesting, but not good enough for you and me. Who is paying for those guns? We have been told that they have raised over $80,000 for this very march that you're watching today. Do the people who donated to this march know that they are paying for guns? Maybe they're not. Maybe Linda Sarsour, maybe Tamika Mallory are paying for that armed security out of their own pocket. I'm here to tell you, I doubt it very seriously. Let's turn now to Chuck Holton, who is amongst the crowd there on the march, veteran Army Ranger. Chuck, it's great to have you on. Uh, has there been any reaction that there is armed security marching with, with you? Well, yeah, you saw the last hit we did. There was somebody who was asking, where, where are they going? Where are they going? And, and they are uh, carrying concealed, as I mentioned before. But, uh, you know, Grant, the real armed security that is protecting this march are the dozens of police officers that are that are going ahead and behind that are being paid by you and me, the taxpayers. And I think that's the bigger story that uh, here there the, the irony of the fact that they're marching against armed security while the taxpayer pays for police to be out here protecting them. Yeah, Chuck, though, I will say the fact that they are hiring private security to march with them well within their rights. But the hypocrisy yep. just stinks to high heaven. And, and here's the real question. This is going to be the big story. Will the Washington Post, will the New York Times, will they cover the fact that they hired armed security to march with them? Will the Washington Post and the New York Times tell the real truth that the supporters, that the organizers of the Women's March actually do support the use of firearms and, and, and the use of firearms to help protect themselves? That's a story that needs to be covered. I am challenging the Washington Post, the New York Times, or any other mainstream media outlet to ask the leaders of this organization and this march exactly who is paying for these guns and do they support the use of guns for security? Because if they do, this entire march is a farce, Chuck Holton.